Hi everybody, welcome again to another episode of Fish Keeping Jamaica. Welcome to my channel. You know, one of the things that um, probably might bug me as an individual with regards to uh, fish keeping as a, um, in ponds, uh, not having aquariums. And, and this do happen with persons having their aquariums um, on, on, uh, within an open space where in which um, bugs from outside are able to actually come in. Um, the, the issue is with them's fly or what you call dragonfly actually um finding space to actually lay finding space to actually lay their eggs in your uh aquarium or pond system now these that you are looking at right now uh yes these little visual insects these are um i wouldn't say larvae i would say it's like baby baby um they're, they're newly hatched um nymphs uh that have been laid as eggs and you know develop past the lava stage and now wrigglers uh within the within the within the water and eventually they become uh what you call it now predators for small fish uh, crustaceans snails uh, so to speak uh, within my pond system right so uh, although my ponds look like this um, with, the, uh, with, the, uh, with, the, with the plant in it right periodically I have to actually take out all the plants wash out all the soil yes wash out all the soil uh, wash the plants and actually replace everything uh, because uh, the, these insects yeah these nice little uh, bug like insect that you see with the four wings flying in, in the park uh they are uh, at their developmental stage uh whether it be as a nymph or as a bug what, that, that looks like a spider they eventually um become uh become uh predators for your small fish uh if you have pest snails um they, it will work out as a as a good thing for you because they will practically shake out the the snails out of the shell and they will consume them but for me i do breeding at the back of my yard in these ponds so um having these insects um in my pond um is like uh kind of pushing me backward um as far as my fish stock is concerned now i know for a fact that they are not in my guppy pond because my guppy pond is actually covered with mesh right i i, I never remember to get enough mesh to cover at least some of my 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 my, my pond I know that they won't mess around well even if they lay the eggs in my um my juvenile should i say juvenile yeah juvenile uh tilapia pond i know that my tilapias will consume them i know that my my uh my 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 chromite cichlid will consume them that's another a pair of chromite cichlid and those are convicts and convicts over there so they won't be like bothering me any anytime soon and also my my what i call uh mosquito fish uh, they won't really bother my mosquito fish so to speak right and um well as far as my live bears are concerned when they're at very small age um small size they are more vulnerable to the attack so um you know these are my priorities so i'm gonna be see see i'm gonna be trying to get some mesh to actually place over these um over the the smaller live bearing fish um ponds uh, so as to protect them this is my this is my uh jaguar sickly babies and i know that they won't mess around with them or even they do lay eggs in there and uh the jaguar sickly will actually consume them right so i'm going to be getting mesh for about four or five of them and the other larger ponds that should be okay convict sickly jack dempsey uh, tilapia sickly goldfish and uh emboma sickly so those ponds are okay the, the most vulnerable ponds right now are those with my live bearers and uh, those uh, fish, uh, the pond setup that has uh, fish that um, are practically at a very small stage of development. I know for example my, my tetra and my um, tiger barb in this pond, it looks green but don't worry about that, right, um, they won't have a problem and they will make a fine meal out of um, these nymphs. Uh, this is Riley here for another fish keep in Jamaica. I hope that this video, um, you know, I hope that this video is of interest to you. Do have a wonderful day. Um, you know, sometimes you just go through some trials. <laughs> right? um, I, 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 I do not have the issue of actually 
having much disease in my systems if i do have disease in my system it's from um, the source which is where i normally purchase my fish right having disease in my system that mean i have a fish that was not counting properly uh, my main problem right now are toads or tadpoles um yeah toads laying egg in my pond and having nymphs bye for now catch you next time peace out cool